This is loser semifinals, round four. Pi is right from the jump, not playing around. Bring out the Steve. And our secondary is here. It is using the Joker. doing the early crafts, which yeah, I'm very much a fan of. Counter does knock back the uh, the mine card. I'm honestly surprised that, that wasn't a uh, down there by Pi. This would actually be like a really insane upset. Does Joker gain our sin over time? I might not even suggest like attacking the, the blocks. Maybe using your guns for it. That's good. Down here, it's clank with the jab. <laughs> That's funny, actually, that that happens to work. No blocks from Pi. That's honestly probably a fair trade, because the minecart grabbing you doesn't actually do any damage. wild with the uh what spot dodges but at least he doesn't have any materials now, i don't know how comfortable you are with down gunning but those low recoveries definitely could be punished with down guns All right, he has enough for something the danger zone. There's no way Pi crafts here because, you know, he only has one diamond. Oh, what was that? Alright, last stock, but... Is Steve with diamonds, so this should technically be the most difficult uh, stock of them all. That's a grab, not an attack. But if you had our sin, it would have reflected, I think. I'm actually not quite sure about that. Don't trust me about that. <laughs> For this last stock situation, when like 
you know, there's no way, like, it's very unlikely that Steve is going to break their diamond sword or their diamond anything before you actually die. So I usually just, like, let him mine on last stock because, like, what's he gonna do? I get more iron, I guess, but he's better safe than, you know, die. Let's go. Very close, very close. Uh, the place where you could have definitely uh, won that game, when that down air came out, you could have reflected it because you had our sin, and then because Steve was standing on top of it, it would have reflected and immediately killed him. Supposed to be a uh, rebel's guard there. I don't think that you had our sin. Yeah, it was just regular Joker stuff. Yeah, you were still jumping. So you couldn't put the, the attack out. For some characters, I use R to jump. Like if I'm planning on doing jump instantly down B, I'll be holding down and B, and then I'll jump with uh, R so that I don't, well I won't be holding B obviously. I'll be holding down and then I'll just do jump B if I really need to do a fast down B. Because otherwise you're trying to do something like moving from the X button to the B button, or you're trying to go from up on the control stick to down. And neither of those really work for me. So I have R set to jump. I don't use it very often, but occasionally I do. It's important sometimes. Like if I need to do like a displaced phantom for Zelda, things like that. It's crazy that we're this far in the bracket and it's still only best of three. If it has one more opportunity, to, uh, you know, stay in the bracket here. Ready? And we'll be going with the DDD versus the Joker. This is a pretty interesting matchup for me, I think. They're swords, so I uh, think that guns generally work very well in this matchup. Like, they destroyed Gordo, but they can't get inhaled. I guess the close gun, actually, not the, the far one. I'm gonna assume that was a mistake. That was probably supposed to be Gordo. That's another weird thing that happens. If you inhale the um, the part on the ground, then he just kind of sits there, and it's very easy to punish. That's, uh, it's been a while since I've seen that. You can, like, do gun one, and then, or, like, slight jump gun one, and then, like, wave dash out of it. It's, like, not, it's not that great, but, uh, it is making it work. I 
because it actually does slow down your roll ability. So like, you can't really spam it, so it's not like an actual option. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Of hammer range, so this should work out for you pretty well. Happy, yep. I wonder if it's about time to start um, assuming that Pi's going to air dodge out of the, uh, the up tilt or up here and start punishing what, you know, start punishing that. I think down smash or down air into up smash would have actually hit there. Yeah. Still ahead in percent, but like kind of not really because it's DD versus Joker. I just call this even percent still. Because Joker is definitely going to die to a back air. And, jo and DD is not going to die until he gets our sin without more percent. DD might die to a you know, smash attack, sure. DD probably could have died to something like a uh, back throw at ledge or something like that. Oh no! <laughs> the air dodge. Okay, moving right along. Nice. All right, game three. The winner of this game goes on in bracket to wait in losers finals to see what happens there, and the loser is out at fourth. Wait, did, did Cheesy actually say comeback causing Pi to die? <laughs> this is losers round four. Pi cannot overcome the curse, not with DDD. <laughs> Bro, he killed me. <laughs> Cheesy Steve has way too much power. Final match going on PS2. This game will determine it. We got the the Cinderella story. If it coming in seventh seed, making top three, or Pi bringing down the hammer, so to speak. The score is currently 1-1. One, one. This is the game that determines the set count.
is the climax of our rivalry. I mean, it's only tournament number 20. We still have four more this summer. This is the climax of our rivalry thus far in ISD game two. Imagine, like, homie stocking across games in a tournament set. Like, oh, they SD'd last stock of the previous game. Guess I'll SD first stock of this game. Ready? That'd be crazy. Alright, back to Steve versus Joker. Joker is a little too short and a little too skinny to get hit by that up tilt from behind. Probably needs to turn around in order to get that done. Guns down is probably a good way to you know, land if you kind of have tried to trouble with it. Usually, I'm not sure about Steve in particular, but you, know, you were pretty high up and you just kind of landed. Joker classic, forward smash, down, uh, spot dodge, down smash. This is actually looking pretty even. That looks intentional, but like I've never seen that before. That might be death actually. Finally using the um the reflector in the matchup, and now we know that even if it would have grabbed, it now actually uh, reflects. Forward smash from high probably coming up. Ooh, the minecart actually being there uh, caused that to linger a bit longer. This actually would be a really huge stock to get from Ibit because uh, Pi currently has diamond uh, equipped, but has none in the inventory. So, there goes that. Ooh. Luckily, not a stage spike. <laughs> I wonder how long that'll work for. Oh no way! Impossible. <laughs> how awful. <laughs> I don't believe it. I've never seen that before. What are the chances? That what an upset. Jeez. Chat is popping off. Unfortunately, those that are watching the video after the fact won't be able to see it, but that was... whew. <laughs> it is literally injuring himself because the pop-off is so hard. <laughs> Alright, good games to both players. If it continues his Cinderella run, this is quite something. He's now sitting in Loser's Finals, where he will fight the loser of me and Puffy Knight.
Maybe gets his revenge on Pi after uh, going losing 2-0 in the first set of the tournament. It's like anime levels of growth. <laughs> 